Residents and business owners there in Chinatown continue their pushback against a proposed new arena for the 76ers. Today, they took that fight to City Hall on the first day of the new Philadelphia City Council session. Action News Racing Culture reporter Toronto Thomas was there. She joins us now live from City Hall. And Toronto protesters are concerned about that arena getting uh, public funds. Yeah, they are. Members of Save Chinatown Coalition are challenging council to not put any city dollars into 76ers place. And within the past hour, developers addressed that very concern. Not private projects, not developer funded arenas. A loud message outside and a silent one inside with shirts opposing 76ers place on display during the first meeting of the new Philadelphia City Council. I'm here today to urge leaders in City Hall to protect Chinatown by stopping the Sixers Arena from building right next to it. The arena would be built in the 1000 block of Market Street and there's concern over the potential impact. Save Chinatown Coalition specifically called out Council Member Mark Squilla who represents the area. They say he's backtracking on his word to not introduce legislation on the arena unless developers promise not to accept city, state or federal funding. I made a commitment not to support any local funding, any city funding for the project. I have no control over the state elected officials and the, the federal elected officials. A spokesperson for the development group says 76ers Place will explore opportunities for state and federal funding, not local dollars. Saying in a statement to Action News, quote, we believe that a development of this nature in Philadelphia should not utilize scarce public resources. We will not be seeking any subsidies from the city of Philadelphia. Squilla says he could ultimately support the proposal. I'm still not sure based on the impacts of the surrounding communities. I could support it, yes. Now what New council president Kenyatta Johnson says council members are still awaiting an initial report. I haven't heard anyone, including myself, really make a definitive um, decision on where they're at because we haven't seen a proposal. Both sides now waiting for the issue to come before city council. Now, even though demonstrators raised this issue today, it wasn't on the agenda and there's still really no timeline for when city council members could even receive that initial report on the proposal. We are live at City Hall, Taronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Taronda, thank you.